John, it's your turn. All right, all right, I'm going. Oh my God, you're number one. <laughs> Am I bothered by John and Katie being all over each other? No, you know what? I, I love it when couples literally just rub their relationship in my face. Just love it. I think you're number one, two, th three. Get it? <laughs> Sarah and I have been spending a lot of time together recently. Just as friends, though. I mean, I don't even think about her that way. I mean, she's nice and pretty. Um, okie dokie, uh, how about Clue? Is that really appropriate? Cause, uh, you know. Yeah, so there's a, a serial killer on the loose right now. Uh, lots of our friends have actually uh, died in the past couple of weeks. There was Renee, she was drowned. Uh, Mitchell was suffocated. Uh, Ellie was poisoned. Kevin was given a lethal dose of laxatives. And Karen, why she uh, slipped on a banana peel and cracked her skull. That one probably wasn't the killer. Uh, I mean, who would use a banana peel as a murder weapon? It's tragic. Katie, we're here to avoid talking about murder, not play a game about one. I've never been a fan of Katie. There's just something about her that I kind of can't stand. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't mean to remind you that all of our friends are being picked off one by one. How about the game of life? Is that better? I've never been a fan of Sarah. There's just something about her that I kind of can't stand. I don't know. Hey, tell me. What's up, little man? Me and Mom are going to the store. Do you want to come? Down in the middle of something here, dude. All right. Do you guys want anything? You can get me some pre-workout if you see any. We're good, thanks. Try not to die while you're gone. No promises, but you guys are the ones all alone in a big, empty house with a serial killer on the loose. So really, who's in the most danger here? Uh, does your mom need any help with the groceries? I think me and mom can handle it. See you later, Tommy. Peace out, Olipop. Finally, some privacy. Who's down for some strip poker? No, oh. vetoed. Spin the bottle? Yes. Spin the bottle is my third favorite game. My second favorite strip poker. My favorite's Candy Crush. I don't think that's a very good idea either. Why? Afraid of a little kissing, Saint Sarah? Ooh, you got me there, Katie. I just don't like the idea of having to kiss anyone here. I mean, I'm sure John's mouth is covered in Katie's germs. And I'm not really sure about Ron or Tommy, but who knows where their lips have been. And it's just unhygienic, and I just don't want to play Spin the Bottle. I think it could be fun. No, I do not only want to play because it might mean I get to kiss Sarah. What, why? Did, did she say something about wanting to kiss me? Hey. Uh, uh, oh, what a coincidence. Shocking. All right, I guess it's time for seven minutes in heaven. Um, according to the WikiHow page, that's not supposed to happen until the third time you land on them. Not the way I play it. So, uh, should we wait for them to come back or just keep playing? We can't keep playing with just us two. It would just be us kissing over and over again. Yep, can't have that. So, sh when they come back we could just... Yeah, no, no we can't. I mean, it could be fun. No, no it couldn't. Are you 100% sure you do not want to keep playing? Yes, Ron, I'm 100% sure I do not want to keep playing. Ouch, okay. I've never kissed a boy before. There, are you happy now? There's a serial killer murdering people and you're asking questions about why I don't like spin the bottle. The state of journalism today is just appalling. I'm gonna go help Tommy with the food. Oh. Bye.
Oh, shh. <laughs> Who's that? All our friends are either dead or downstairs. It's from an unknown number. What's it say? Come downstairs. I should probably go now then. It's probably just John being an idiot, come on. Tommy, this is a horrible idea. Sarah, we are going to be fine, okay? I promise, there's absolutely nothing to be scared of. Yeah. Ah! Listen here, ladies. This is why you never let a man take you anywhere. You'll end up face to face with a serial killer, guaranteed. Please, please let us go. Ollie, are you kidding me? Hmm. You look much taller with the mask on. Is this some kind of joke? I, I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Ever since you started high school, you're never around anymore. You're always hanging out with your friends. So you murdered them? Pretty much, yeah. Ollie, that's freaking insane! Please don't yell the psychotic killer! Ollie, buddy, you, you don't have to do this. We can hang out whenever you want. Just. Please do not kill us. Oh, Tommy, I'm not going to kill you. Just her. Then it'll just be you and me forever. Well, and Mom. But other than that, well, and Dad every other weekend. But you know what I mean. Please don't. Ollie, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. I'm doing this for us, Tommy. For our family. She's the last one in our way. No, she's not. I'm a lifeguard. So I called the cops and they came and arrested Ollie, which was sad, but I think he's doing well, you know, all things considered. Tommy comes to visit me all the time. I see him more than ever. So in the end, I think everything worked out okay. Well, except for all those people that are dead because you murdered them. So after Ron saved us, I totally realized I saw him as more than a friend. Yeah, I also made that realization at that exact moment, up before. So, if it weren't for Ollie, we probably never would have gotten together. Guess it all worked out in the end. Am I the only one that remembers that all of our friends were murdered?